Today, I will tell you about thoracic stenosis, which you may think is complicated. You may have heard about cervical and lumbar spinal stenosis quite often. Many people wonder and have questions discs form in the thoracic spine as well? Yes, stenosis can also occur in the thoracic spine. There are many different causes of stenosis. When we refer to stenosis, we generally mean spinal stenosis. This means that the nerve passes becomes narrower. All conditions where the pathway for nerves becomes narrowed are referred to as stenosis. That's why stenosis is further classified into various subtypes and have different names based on the underlying causes of narrowing. The most commonly observed is a herniated disc in the thoracic spine, which refers to a herniated disc that goes beyond the usual herniation and becomes calcified. However, there are two more notable causes of thoracic stenosis. One of them is called yellow ligament ossification. In our spine, there is a spinal canal, and behind the spinal canal, there is a bone called the lamina which encloses the nerves. The important ligament that holds onto that bone is called the yellow ligament. This ligament thickens and becomes hardened when calcium deposits form inside it, leading to calcification. Therefore, when this yellow ligament undergoes calcification, we call it yellow ligament ossification, and it becomes a significant factor in causing spinal stenosis as it narrows the spinal canal. Inside the canal that surrounds the nerves, there is a large bone that protects the nerves. It's called the vertebral body. The back of the vertebral body, there is a long ligament there. Because this ligament is also prone to calcification and can ossify. If that happens it is called ossification of the posterior longitudinal ligament. Then, are there ligaments in the front side too? Yes, there is a ligament in the front called anterior longitudinal ligament. It can also become ossified, which is called ossification of anterior longitudinal ligament. But, because the nerves aren't located there, it tends to be asymptomatic and treatment is not necessary. Both ossification and stenosis are similar in that they narrow the path of the nerve so we treat it as the same disease. Depending on the symptoms a patient presents, the level and scope can vary slightly. The inflammation around the nerve due to stenosis can cause a lot of discomfort, so the first treatment we try is medications and injections. However, if the pain becomes severe, the radiating pain worsens, or due to paralysis, disturbing walking balance, cannot run or even slight impairment in bowel and bladder function, then this is a warning signal indicating the disturbed so you must proceed to surgical treatment in order to accurately assess the degree and extent of the ossification of the ligaments. A CT scan is essential, compared to regular MRI by performing more precise myelography MRI exam should be conducted to determine how much space remains around the nerves. If there is a lot of space and the symptoms are mild, then medication and injection therapy may be considered. If there is not much space, and paralysis is imminent or already present, prompt surgical treatment should be conducted to prevent paralysis from progressing to the point where walking becomes impossible. Today, we talked about the causes of thoracic spinal stenosis such as yellow ligament ossification. Many people fear treatment and often neglect it until the condition deteriorates significantly. However, this is a triotab condition that can be safely addressed, so do not worry, and seek treatment promptly to enjoy a healthy life. Thank you.